Mayor says he's threatening to take legal action against waste management, accusing the company of intentionally closing down a transfer station, which is causing those delays and backups with the new garbage collector. I thought it was going to be gone yesterday, but they didn't get it. I was patiently waiting for them, but uh, they didn't come. So. Residents in Northeast Jackson unhappy their garbage hadn't been picked up Tuesday morning. They say the trash was supposed to be collected one day earlier. I noticed yesterday that by about 6 o'clock it hadn't been picked up, and so I came back out at 8 o'clock, and no, no garbage pickup. Complaints about delays in trash pickup have come in almost daily since the city's new contractor, Richard's Disposal, started last Friday. Marilyn Mumba blaming the previous contractor, Waste Management, for delays at a transfer station where trash is dumped. I have actually been on the phone uh, with leadership from Waste Management who have prevented at times uh, the Richards disposal trucks entering into the transfer station in order to dump the trash. The mayor is now threatening to take legal action against waste management. The mayor claims the transfer station, which waste management owns, was shut down for hours at a time over the weekend. A company spokesman says between 12 p.m. and 4 p.m. Saturday, Richards Disposal dumped 11 trucks worth of refuse and no trucks were turned away during normal operational times. Now, even with questions about the garbage pickup and the delays, there are also still questions about whether the contract Wishers Disposal has with the city is even legal. The mayor has filed another lawsuit against the city council over that. Some city council members threatening to go to a local judge. They want a temporary restraining order to stop the company from picking up the trash. Live in West Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.